Hello guys, welcome to today's session. So today we are focusing on search methods. So we have to default one search method based on the client requirement. So we are going to customer governance and we have clicked on search customer. Now it is already coming as address data. Whenever we are opening search customer, it will come as address data. So there are other also other uh, search methods also which is available. We can see those available uh, search methods inside MDG IMG configuration. So go to MDG IMG inside general settings. We can see data called and search. Yeah, search and duplicate search. Here we can see Hana, Hana search and those search modes we can see. So inside search modes again in every search mode there will be allocation of search help. So we can go inside and check them. So related to DB these are search helps. So it is allocated to particular data model and it is having some descriptions as well. These are provided by SAP. So like this these search methods will get filled by different different search providers which are enabled. So again let's go back we can focus on AD search. So this fuzzy search is not enabled so it is not having any data. So go inside and uh, go to HANA search and inside this we can see many searches provided by SAP. Scroll down and we can see related to BP also the, uh, SAP has provided some searches. So that's it guys like this we will get the drop down inside search method related to the search applications only. So uh, what is our requirement? So let's understand when we are opening some customer governance tab after clicking on search customer it, that search method by default it has to fill uh, something other than address data. For suppose if, if we ask BP roles to get filled so this time we are we have to go inside and open this drop down and we have to select BP role. But what if they want this BP role as soon as we go inside this UIBB. So let's do that requirement now. So BP roles as as we are se selecting that BP role automatically that search criteria is getting adjusted with BP role related data. Right click here technical help in component configuration if we go we can see feeder classes inside general settings. So go inside check feeder class open same feeder class inside SC24 now. So going back SC24 in this feeder class I am opening in display mode here we can see some methods. So our we, can, we have to focus on fill method drop down method. So fill method drop down this is a method here. So go inside that and see how it behaves. So all the source code is from SAP. Now let's keep a breakpoint in last line of that end method. External breakpoint. Now again go to UI and then again go to customer governance and click on search customer. So that's it. So click on search customer. Now we can see it is getting triggered. Now let's observe in desktop 3 what are the local variables here. So these two variables these are going outside of this method. So CS data and CT, CT method. Let's focus on CS data now. It is a structure. It is having some data and CT method it will have drop down list. So all this list will be shown in the UI. If we want to hide any of them we can do through CT method and if we want to uh, if, if we want to show the defaulting one it we have to adjust CS method. So this is CS method let's make changes here in debug mode and check what are the uh, changes which we can see in the UI. So let's focus on BP roles for now. 
so select this MCBP role so same thing we can fill inside CS data structure so MC BP role roles in same way we have to fill that method number 0005 let's fill in that structure Zero 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 five. That's it. And we can make it as roles, but it it will get auto adjusted to BP roles because actual description is BP roles for that. Now I am clicking on execute method. Now we can see in the UI itself it got changed. So search method BP roles is coming by default, and BP role also coming in search criteria. Search criteria also got adjusted accordingly. This is the uh, change guys. Now we have to do this change programmatically. So let's focus on that. Now go back and here we have to create an implicit enhancement. So to do that go to edit and en enhancement show implicit enhancement options. So here let's create one enhancement create code here any any name we can give z e i something so uh, meaningful name give any name meaningful name here so default search methods this is fine and default search method defaulting that's it click on ok local object is fine for now now insert enhancement we have to make code changes accordingly so click on signature to understand what is going on open signature here we can see CS data and CT method loop at CT method again here looping is not at all required I am removing it and replacing with read table because it is an internal table ct method with key so what are the fields inside that we have to check in let's go inside that signature and check what are the fields so search controls it will go inside again it we can go inside go inside again we have to go inside and here we can see method provider search help text so these are the four fields we have to fill it we have to check that so let's come here and insert that key we can give method so method it is we have to give it as 0001 I have gi given DB by mistake now provider is HANA or DB anything so this details again we have to go into debugger and observe how that data is coming inside CT method accordingly we have to make those keys here so again I am keeping the breakpoint and I checking again go to customer governance search customer now this will get triggered so open that debugger here we can see in locals CT method is filling like this so if we are focusing on BP roles now let's take a screenshot of that and understand so I am using snipping tool here snipping tool now I am focusing on row 5 here we can see method na method number is also 0005 and those details we can see so this this details we can see it when we are coding this so uncomment this one and here method provider is there right method we have to give as 0005 
no provider db this is fine now we have to add extra one that is search help mcbp search help is mcbp roles equal to roles this is enough that uh, text is not required now so into data inline declaration now in ls method we will get the data of that row so that row we have to exactly fill that into cs data to get defaulted so before uh, let's give let's give directly cs data equal to ls method but problem will be there because ls method on cs data is not having same structure only few common attributes will be there but exact structure will not match that is why even if we directly do this when we are clicking on check it will not accept system will give some error here see is we cannot convert into another type both are different different data types so what we can do alternatively one by one we can give common fields here one by one so if we focus cs data we can see method is there this side and that side so take method and ls method also in that also there will be one method so this one i can select method like that we can do it in multiple lines so cs data in the in that there is provider equal to ls method and in this also provider we can give and cs data so we can see this is getting uh into multiple lines of code uh, unintentionally so instead of doing this type of thing because both sides it is having same name provider equal to provider method method same so we are not having any anything which is not common in both of the sides so that is why the ones which are common in both sides should get moved from one one structure to another structure so i am using move corresponding and then i am moving from ls method to cs method so see into cs data that's it let's activate this and check in the ui remove debugger now let's check customer governance click on search customer now we can see the difference so bp roles it is coming directly previously it used to come as address search now bp role search is coming by default so this is the requirement now we can see still see some issue here so if we are going to customer governance we are we are going to get this uh, search method now let's see in supplier governance as well so i am going to supplier governance and here search supplier here also we are able to see bp roles only this is not expected because if if there is requirement to make it as default in both sides then it is fine but if there is requirement like it should only come under customer governance that's particular search method then we have to find a different way so i am just adding one more line here so here we can add a, an attribute which is uh, uh, otc code so in in me mv otc there will be one attribute which we can use for differentiation so otc means object type code which it is a like mdg related one if we go to mdg img inside this we can see otc codes so go to data modeling and check let's close this 
and data modeling here business object type code inside this we can see for business partner there is one OTC code and for uh, customer one there is 159 OTC code and for supplier there is 266 OTC code so according to that BO type we can give here that OTC so here I am giving 155 159 and if now we can check activate this now let's check so under customer governance if we are checking now it is coming as BP roles so come out of that and again click on search customer now we can see BP roles is coming here as default previously address data should be there now let's go to supplier governance in search supplier we can still see address data it is still showing as this address data only so that means we targeted only customer governance tab now not supplier related one so if we still want to focus on supplier governance we can make changes to this OTC code so that OTC code we can see here supplier is having 266 so here also we can give 266 that's it activate this now let's let's change UI search, uh, search supplier here we can see BP roles is coming by default now let's go to customer governance in search customer we can see address data is coming so that means now we focused only on supplier governance like that we can make filter according to OTC code as well that's it guys for today's video thank you for watching